Hi everybody, this is Benjamin and Quinny. We are looking for a little hack today in the fence and a couple things that in mind before we actually do this. One, we have the invincibility sheet on. Two, we have a car in front of the fence and a car at the side of the fence. Three, we have a couple and we have another cheat on, speedrunning cheat just to get these cars. You can also cheat some cars in it, but you won't get the exact results what you want. Alright, today so we're gonna crash this car right into this fence. This car, this perfectly nice new car is going to go into this perfectly nice new fence. And what it's going to essentially do, if you're doing it correctly, from, you know, the far end, from the far end of the left side, is it's going to keep ramming into you and it's going to catch on fire. Oh, man. And now the gate is broken. <laughs> and now the gate is broken. That is what Zach exactly was supposed to do. What? That is what Zach exactly was supposed to do. Essentially, this is exactly what the gate's supposed to do. It's supposed to wig out on you, it's supposed to start kicking and stuff. But what it's also supposed to really do is essentially kick you about 300 feet in the air. Wait, the hell? You just... Also, some of the cars may indeed actually hit the ground at such a speed that they will, on occasion, go right through the gameplay. Essentially, though, the gate is moving at such a speed that it's actually hitting you hard enough to make you fly. Like this? Like that. <laughs> so we're going to do it again this time with a little bit of a uh, heavier measure since the last car I don't think was really necessarily heavy and big enough and that person's actually a piece of him, but is going to get ran over rather instead and got punched in the face. Cops will be promptly called and we'll place in another code to make that not illegal somehow. You don't want a Jeep, you want a really fast car. Much like this one that I'm stealing from right now. For kids, I encourage you not to steal this because it's a very pricey car. And we will rinse, wash, and repeat. We will shove this nice car right into that once bloody, now nice again fence. This, a key hint here is that the car or the fence will begin pushing you back. Now, I don't believe that this car actually works, but. So we have to get a new car. And right now, we're stuck. <clears throat> but essentially, in this case, unlike most cases, smaller is better. Now, I wouldn't say go full-born motorcycle on this because it does not work nearly as well, and plus it just tosses you across the, you know, the landscape of that housing. But... This idealistic car that just appeared here. It's back. Sometimes it doesn't push us back that hard, but we can keep doing it if it does. That one's actually better than the other one where it was just letting us sit there and not do anything. But it will last anywhere between two, three seconds to the first couple of bumps to about five minutes.